hey guys welcome back to my channel so um remember those products i got from ulta well i'm going to use them and show you how they turned out so be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome and stay tuned for the video all right so what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm basically showing you guys the results of my wash and go showed you guys what i got from ulta and i decided that i wanted to do a full wash day routine using those products that i got from ulta um i wanted to i'm really wanting to try out new stuff i mean who doesn't like trying out new stuff so if you haven't checked that video out i will link it down below so you can see everything that i got i got um makeup stuff too it wasn't just hair stuff but Today I'm going to show you how I achieved this gorgeous wash and go. I wanted to try out this color infused shampoo because um, when I first dyed my hair it was more of a coppery orangey color and now it's becoming like a blondish color. Not that I have a problem with the blonde but I really like the copperish look. Um, but yeah I really 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 like these two. Um, all I did, I went in with the shampoo first. Um, I started at the roots, which I feel like because my roots don't have any color, it was kind of pointless, you know. So I went ahead and just shampoo regularly and then I rinsed and let the shampoo, you know, run down my ends because I don't apply shampoo directly to my ends. I apply it to my scalp and then I work it in my scalp to cleanse my scalp and then I rinse the shampoo and the shampoo will run down to the rest of my hair the reason why i do not apply my my shampoo to my ends of my hair is because i have curly hair and if you have curly hair curly hair or even wavy hair or any hair that requires a lot of moisture which tends to be the curly wavier hair um or coarser hair um you don't really want to apply shampoo to your ends because um with curly hair our hair naturally dries out like and then especially since i have color although this is color infused it's still a shampoo so i apply the shampoo to my scalp and let it rinse down so if you have curly hair i would definitely recommend doing that if you're not doing so already but if you are you are on the right track so then i apply this um conditioner and i started at my ends and um just coated it on my hair now with conditioner you don't want to apply it directly to the scalp so shampoo to the scalp not the ends conditioners to the ends not the scalp <laughs> got it so um with the conditioner i applied it to my ends i went ahead and um divided my hair into sections i don't remember if i did two or four sections but i do remember that i divided my hair into sections and um i went ahead and you know got the sh the conditioner really good in there detangled with my fingers i'm not sure if i detangled with a comb or not because lately i've been trying to use my fingers more than my comb but either way i detangled and then I ended up twisting my hair up into either two or four little twists. And the bottle says to leave the conditioner on for about one to three minutes. So I'm pretty sure that is so the conditioner can set in, but also so the color can set in. So I left this in for about five to ten minutes or however long it took me to wash my body. Then I rinsed it out. And when I rinsed it out, like this stuff is burnt orange. Like... It is like orange you can see it in the little top but it is like orange and when you rinse it out um and the water like you can see the orange coming in the water so it definitely has a lot of color in it so anywho so i rinsed it out and then at that point i then applied the shea moisture frizz defense hair mask now if you are not into sweet smells this is you're probably not gonna like the smell of this it is definitely more on the sweeter side than like the fresher um like not so perfumey side of smells but i really personally like the smell it actually reminds me of something and i cannot think of what it reminds me of but i went ahead and applied this to my hair and then i proceeded to get out of the shower because um i was going to leave this in my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes it says 
it says five minutes if you just want to you know get a mini session in but it says for deep penetration put a plastic cap on and apply heat for up to 30 minutes usually what i do is i just apply a plastic baggie to my head and put my bonnet on top and then the heat from my scalp usually gets a warming up because like when i take the plastic cap off my hair is like warm as if i was under heat so um the heat from your scalp will get it warm so if you don't have a blow dryer or something that's not necessary that's like optional you don't have to do that part because I, I don't ever do it so i then use the frizz defense styling gel cream now two problems well not two just one so because i didn't buy a new leave-in conditioner and i don't recall there being a leave-in conditioner for this there might be but i don't remember it being one or maybe i just didn't feel like purchasing it if there was one i probably didn't purchase it because i normally i think that any leave-in conditioner will work so I tried another leave-in conditioner that I already owned, but I think because it didn't come with this line, um, you know, it changed my results slightly, just slightly. But what I can say is that I absolutely love my results using this. The definition is bomb. Like I said, this is day, um, I'm actually gonna zoom in so y'all can see okay so this is day four and do y'all see like my curls are still really tight so i definitely have a lot of definition like no frizz like except for right here but but that i think that's for me pulling my hair up at night which i will explain in a minute but so the pros, it definitely fights the frizz. We've had warm days, we've had cold days, and I'm not very gentle when I take my clothes off. Um, I sleep wild. Like this should have been super duper frizzy by now. Like this little patch of frizz is normally my whole head by day four, but it's still very, very, very much defined but it's so like watery i'm assuming because water is the first ingredient which is really good but it was like i had to squeeze out a lot like i'm heavy-handed so it wasn't like creamy it wasn't really thick it was like it was coming out of the bottle before i even squeezed it that's how like and you can kind of i don't know if y'all can see you can't see but like it's just flopping around like you know you can hear that it's watery you know so my thing is i'm probably only only gonna be able to use this twice i have a lot of hair and when i do a wash and go i like to coat every single strand with the product like i can't be light-handed with it or it won't come out right so um or not even light-handed but i just have to coat my whole head and so i was basically i basically used half the bottle on my entire head so although i really like this and it really really bought frizz it's kind of like if i can only use it twice then you know i don't know but what i can say is that it does say for thick wavy hair i have really curly hair so maybe if you if you have wavy hair and since it is like liquidy you won't need a lot because it's for waves so you kind of just rake it through versus my hair is curly so i can say that it i did not use it for its purpose which it says wavy hair but i really 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 liked it i loved the results like like my hair is not frizzy at all so yeah that's basically what i use i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you would like to see more or a specific uh you know style whatever go ahead and comment down below i want to start doing you know 
different types of videos makeup fashion hair you know i got y'all so um comment down below if you want to see something specific if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then go ahead and do so and if you want to see how i got this makeup look go ahead and check the description box because i have a video on it so yeah if you guys um could give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye